Hey guys, let's talk about the wise scan v4 SD card not detected. Usually when you have your SD card that's not being detected, you need to check the format of the SD card and also if the SD card is not damaged, right? So let me just put this here. You see that I have this camera is a V4. I have a lot of wise cameras. I usually test them a lot. And I was testing this one, the V4 with different cards, okay? So if we take a look here, you see that I have a Lexar card. 512 gigabytes, so that's the capacity of the card. You need to check that first. For example, for the V4, it works with 512 gigabytes. I tested this a lot and works pretty fine, all right? So check the capacity. If you have a higher capacity, it's not going to work. That's the first thing you need to check. And then there's the brand. I have this other one here. That's the brand. Let me just get some focus again. There we go. Gigaston with eight gigabytes only, right? And I want to test here in the camera. So I have the V4 just right here. Let me just disconnect the camera here from power and then I can insert the SD card. There we go. So here I have a camera and then there's the slot for the SD card, right? When I insert here, for example, this SD card, just insert it here. And then I put the camera back to place here. Just connect the cable back and I put it here. Then you just need to check your app. Wait for the camera to load again. There we go. The camera is back. Okay. And then when I see here the SD card, I just click here and I see the micro SD card is not found. Okay. If you check this message, see this message, don't worry. The first thing that I need to check is come here on the settings. There we go. Advanced settings. I need to format your SD card. You see, manage micro SD card. You need to format it here, right? And now I see this message, unsupported micro SD card. Let me try to format this one, okay? Format the SD card. And I see that's formatting right now. And then you just need to wait for a while and see if it goes well. If it doesn't, you can try another SD card or you can check the SD card and you see formatted failed, right? You can check the SD card in the computer and see if you can format it there. In this case, it's not working. So I'm going to eject the SD card again and try a new one, right? If you have two SD cards, that's the first thing that you can check just to make sure that the SD card is good, right? Because sometimes like waste a lot of time trying to fix the, the issue and the problem is the SD card. So again, I would just remove the SD card from here. Let me just get this Lexar. So I put the Lexar here and I'm going to connect the camera back. There we go. Wait for the camera to load again. So it takes some time. I'm going to see the image there and also here on my cell phone. There we go. It's back there. As you can see, let me just check here on the cell phone as well. So it's back here. SD card, let me just click. And it's working already, right? Because the SD card is good, it was working before there. So I don't even need to format it. And it just reads the SD card and I can even see what's recorded there from previous day, right? But if it's not, if you are using for the first time or trying to use for the first time, again, need to come here in settings and advanced settings. Mm manage your SD card and here you click format, right? See, this one is working. I'm not gonna format right now because it's working and I have videos recorded there and works pretty fine. But by in the end of the day, you just need to come here and format the old one you see that was not working. Then what I can try is use my computer. So here I have a MacBook. You can also use Windows. There is no difference. You can't use Windows or MacBook to format a card. So I just grab a card here, the one that was not working before. And I'm going to use the adapter that comes with the card and insert here on the computer. And I'm going to bring a tool to check the card, like uh, a disk utility, right? And then it pops up the disk utility and I'm supposed to see the card here if it's working. So it's basically not working because I don't see it here. Let me just try to put it here again. One more time. 
and it's not, not working. So the disk utility cannot see your card. That means it's not working fine. Okay. If it sees the SD card, then you can format the SD card using the computer as well. Let me just remove it from here. And again, remove the card from the camera here, just to show you that probably this card here from the camera is going to work. So guys, sometimes it's just, it is what it is. If the card's not work, it's not good. You need to replace it, right? Let me just put the other one here. There we go. And insert here in the computer. Take a look at the, the disk utility here. And I see the pops up pretty fast. You see pops up here. I have the disk uh, and the name of the disk here. And here, the EXFET, that's the format that you have to format your card, right? Because it's a high capacity card, in this case, 512 gigabytes, and then you need to use the format, right? If you, your card just pops up here, you come here and erase, and then you can give the card a name and select here the format, right? And then you just use this one, EXFET, okay? For Windows, you can just use the Windows Disk Utility as well and do the same. Doesn't matter if you're using Mac or Windows, so you just need to come here and format your SD card, right? So in this case, the, the, the other SD card is not working even in the computer, so there is nothing else I can do here. I just need to replace the card, okay? So if that's the case, you just need to go there and replace your card, right? So that's the way you can check the SD card, just make sure that you have the, the capacity right, like for this camera, 512 gigabytes, the maximum you can go for the version version 4. Uh, previous version is not uh, the high, there is no that's the option for the high capacity, so just make sure you have the capacity for your respective camera. And for the version 4, 512 gigs is, is going to work fine. And then you just need to insert here format using this camera itself or formatting the computer using the EX FAT, right? So I hope this helps, right? And also don't forget to use good cards. I have a Lexar here. I have a SanDisk here. See the capacity here. And also the card that's pretty fast, V30, U3, or C10. Those are the cards recommended. I also leave the link here in the description, right? So I hope this helps. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up in your comments, and I see you in the next video.